Hi there, this is Ellie from Nudge Marketing Training and in this short video I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your website. So as you can see here I am in my standard Facebook page. I click on the drop down arrow on the right hand side and I select manage ads. This is going to take me into the Facebook ads manager. In this section I click on tools and I select pixels and what I want to do is I want to create a new pixel so I click on create a new pixel down the bottom here and the Facebook pixel name comes up and you have to agree to the terms of Facebook pixel terms otherwise they won't give it to you so you leave this ticked and you simply click create pixel. Once you've done this you've got two choices if you're installing the pixel yourself you can click on install pixel now which we're going to do and as you can see at the top here it actually tells you to install the pixel between the head and the backslash head in your website code. So what you need to do is you need to copy all of the pixel that is in this section here. So we're going to grab that. And then we're going to head over to the dashboard of our WordPress site. In this particular case, I'm actually using Optimize Press as the theme and they have sections where I can put code like this in. If you don't know how to do this or don't have a section in your uh, WordPress theme to add code into the header or footer or body, you can add a plugin which will do this for you if you just search header and footer plugin and install one of those as a plugin on your site to do this. But what I'm going to do is show you how I can do it, adding it into the header of my code. It's done through the analytics and tracking because I want to put this over all of my page. And the header tracking and analytics code, so any tracking or code which needs to be placed in the page before the backslash head tag goes in this top section here. So I simply paste the code in here that I had already copied from the Facebook page and I save my settings. Now what I do want to do is ensure that that has actually worked okay so what I do for that is I go into Google Chrome, I type in the website that I have just added this into and up here on the right hand side I have something installed called the Facebook pixel helper. I can click on this. There's one pixel found on the site and it has loaded successfully. So that is the Facebook pixel added to your site. If you do not know how to install the pixel on your code or you have a web developer doing this for you, uh, all you need to do is email pixel code instead of install pixel code and add the recipient's email address in this section here and then push send and then ask them to install this onto your website for you. I would still recommend that you do install the Facebook pixel helper in Chrome and check once they tell you it has been done to ensure that it has been installed successfully.